In this video, we will be covering a couple of cool tricks and tips for you to prepare your store for Christmas. We're going to be covering SEO hacks. We're going to be covering uh, email marketing. We'll be covering store preparation tips so that you can avoid any customer refunds, any customer complaints, and yeah, all those good stuff. So if you're ready, if you're excited, let's run the intro. Ah. Hey guys, Julian right here again. And as I mentioned in this video, we're actually going to be preparing your store for Christmas. Now, I know it's a little bit late as I'm recording this, but you know, it's, it's December 17 right now, literally like eight days before Christmas. And by the time this is released, you know, it may be in a couple of days, but I just hope that, you know, some of the tips and the tricks that I share with you, you may be able to implement it into your store, right? So uh, first thing you need to ask yourself is that, do you actually want to sell during Christmas? Uh, should you close your store during Christmas? All right. If you ask me, I would say definitely not close your store simply because you know this is a uh, holiday season and people are in the buying mode. People will be wanting to look for something to spend their money on. A lot of people would have spent their money on during Black Friday and Black Friday itself this year has been absolutely crazy. If you actually look at the Black Friday Cyber Monday 2020 analysis, they actually made uh, Shopify itself made over 5.1 billion US dollars globally within just that weekend right that four days uh, average car was about $89.20 so you know it's actually a crazy amount of money that was made uh, during this holiday season uh, as you compare the stats right it's actually a 76% increase in sales worldwide as compared to last year which was only 2.9 billion US dollars so should you actually take a small bit of the pie I would say you should right you should actually get a small bit of the pie but there are a couple of things that you really need to understand beforehand. Uh, I just want to throw it out to you so that you understand uh, what to expect as well, right? So now the number of traffic that you get will increase and people will be on the buying mode, yes. But also one thing is that uh, CPMs would increase. If you run Facebook ads, uh, the cost would be a little bit higher because this is still the holiday season, right? If you compare it during uh, Black Friday as compared to right now, I would say that uh, it's gonna be a little bit less, but still there's something you should uh, be expecting before you even uh, start thinking of whether to run your store or not, right? And in this video, I won't be covering any uh, store creation, any product research uh, tapes, but just mainly focusing on how to actually uh, get your store Christmas ready, right? So uh, let's continue right now. Okay, how to sell during Christmas. Okay, the first thing that you wanna actually uh, do is that you want to make sure that you're transparent with your customers you actually need to inform your customers uh, about the delays if there is and which also relates to the second um, point right here which is you actually need to discuss with your suppliers on their cutoff dates a lot of the suppliers would already know when is the uh, best date that you should be uh, ordering uh, so that you actually will get your product by christmas because after all people want to order their products before christmas in hopes that they can actually wrap their presents and give it out during christmas right so they need to have the expectation whether they will actually uh, be getting the products then or not now even if they don't get the products during Christmas, right? They ought to know as a customer as well. So it's your role, it's your duty as a seller to inform your customers. Now, you may be asking me also, in that case, uh, if it's after Christmas or if it's you know closer to Christmas date, will people still buy? The answer for you is that yes, they will actually still buy simply because people are still in a, in a buying mood. Uh, people will still buy, but they will know that you know they will not be getting it uh, by Christmas, right? So. As a seller, make sure that you inform them uh, beforehand. So when you actually want to discuss with your supplier, right, you actually need to make sure that you get a trusted supplier because this is very important, right? Some suppliers that if you're not build any rapport with your suppliers, uh, what happens is that sometimes they may cheat you, uh, they may actually uh, give false promises to which they cannot actually uh, uh, keep, keep, right? So you want to make sure that uh, these trust suppliers that you work with are actually trusted, okay? So uh, if you actually look at as suppliers, most of them would have actually uh, listed out some of their best delivered by dates, right? So you can see here, HyperSQ actually does have an average delivery time during Christmas season. Uh, United States, U UK, and so on and so forth, there's actually all these uh, times. Uh, and also, this doesn't include processing time, which is from one to four days, right? If you're using HyperSQ, this is uh, the one you can follow. If you're using another one, like such as Vio, CG, Dropshipping, they each have their own um, average delivery times right if you're using aliexpress uh, you can actually just directly ask your supplier so yeah 
it will also be good if you are able to find a supplier that has even faster shipping uh, that ships from within US, right? For me, I sell in US, so it's gonna be much faster in, in terms of shipping as well. Now, let's move on a little bit on to store preparation. So how do you actually prepare your store? So one of the things that you wanna do is you need to actually have an announcement bar and the announcement bar should inform your customers about your Christmas sale, right? So for example, right here, uh, I have a Christmas sale up to 50% off, click for Christmas delivery info. So this is a template that you can use on your announcement bar. You can see here, I actually have a, I actually have a, um, you know, sample store right here. You can see here, ordered by Chris December 16 to receive on time for Christmas, right? I actually uh, notify. So you can actually put this, or if you want, if you have enough space, the reason why I didn't include the, the other portion right here, Christmas sales, because you know, for this, in this case here, for this demo store, it seems a little bit too long, right? So if you don't want, just remove this as well, all right? And also, you know, the reason why I put this in green is so that it's easily, um, you know, easily visible yeah so and i also use a uh, emoji right here this is the santa emoji you can use a santa emoji or you can also use a christmas tree emoji that's entirely up to you right what else you want to actually be doing on your store so in this case right here what you want to do is you want to actually put up a christmas banner right here as you can see i have one merry christmas sale to get 30 percent off uh, plus free shipping use code xmas and this um, banner will be able to tell your customers that you're actually having a Christmas sale. How do you actually get a banner such as this? Very simple, you can actually go to freepick.com right, and just get it or you can design it yourself using Canva and stuff like that. So I actually got my, I think mine was this one right here and I just did a couple of edits, right? So this is what you can do. So the next thing that you want to actually also do is that you want to also have a Christmas delivery guarantee template. All right, sorry, Christmas delivery guarantee page. Okay, uh, right here, I actually have made one right here. So I'm just going to scroll to the bottom. So it's over here, Christmas delivery guarantee. I'm going to show you how it actually looks like. Okay, you can see here, I just put in a, a page, holiday shipping deadlines. Okay, and I actually, um, you know, fill up the details, right? So here, when do I need to order for guaranteed Christmas delivery, right? So, thanks for your order. We understand that you want your order by Christmas. So just make sure that you get your order latest by XX date, right? So whatever date that you actually discuss with your supplier and you know you actually put it right here. Uh, if I order after these dates, will I still get my order? Of course, right? Even after you place your order uh, after the date, it's still possible the order will be delivered before Christmas. We just can't guarantee it, right? So if you actually have this up front, then people will at least know that, uh, you know, it actually keeps yourself protected as well, right? And also they know that they may not get uh, the order or they may get it, right? So this is something that you want to have and at the bottom here I actually have Christmas delivery guarantee terms and conditions uh, Christmas guarantee applies to any product prior to your supplier dates right so this one you, you actually need to change this to the supplier date right here right um, number two is where your product has been ordered between within the deadline above and if the delivery attempt has not been made easy peasy will issue a store credit so you're actually telling them that if you actually order within the deadline and you know the delivery cannot be uh, made by the 24th of December you will actually give them a store credit right so this is one way to actually avoid giving them refunds you give them a store credit so that they actually can still you know spend the store credit in your store itself right so this is one of the tips that I've been using as well. Instead of giving someone a refund, I've been giving them store credits. And you know, sometimes they actually do accept it. Uh, most of the times they do, but if you, uh, if they just insist to get their, their refunds back, then I would say just actually just refund them, right? So where a product was sold with free shipping, no store credit will apply, right? So if you actually give up free shipping, then you actually can protect yourself by saying that, you know, you can't actually give store credit, right? If a delivery attempt is made whereby the carrier has attempted delivery, but no one was present to sign for the goods, then a calling card will be left and the goods will be taken to the local depot or post office for collection. So this is what you can do. You can actually tell them that uh, if there's no one to sign for the product, what will happen is that it will actually be sent to the post office for collection. So they actually have to go and collect it themselves, right? So this is something that you can do. So I actually have this uh, delivery template right here and I will actually give you this template and this uh, share this entire page with all of you, right? Once this actually hits 500 likes, all right? So if you want this template, okay, just give me 500 likes and I will actually give access uh, to this template to you. All right, cool. 
So at the at the bottom, I also have this thing called uh, yeah, hide this thing. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at your email dot com. Right. Whatever your email is. Okay. The next hack that I want to share with you is an SEO hack. And this is something I've never seen anyone teach before. So I just want to be able to share this with you, right? It's called uh, creating Christmas coupon codes. Now, if you think about it, you know, how many times have you, before you actually buy something, you go onto Google and you actually type in the name of the store or the name of the product and then coupon code, right? I certainly have. So one way to actually uh, put yourself out there and to actually give more backlinks to your store, right? If backlink is basically, you know, how actually Google crawls through your site and actually finds you know other sites linking to your store which actually pushes your store ranks up the google uh, page rank right so one of the ways to do that would be for you to actually submit your own coupon codes so there are actually a couple of stores that can actually do that um, and, and a lot of coupon codes sites can do that so i'm just going to quickly share with you right now uh, and these ones are you know few of them like 10 of them that i've actually compiled you know and again i say that I'll actually give this whole page as a template if I actually reach up to 500 likes, right? So uh, let me just show you one example right here. So this is coupon birds, which you can actually submit your coupon. All, the, all you have to do is just scroll all the way to the bottom at coupon code uh, coupon birds and then see this part here called submit a coupon. Sometimes you may not be able to see a link called submit a coupon. What you have to do is you actually have to reach out to them in order to get someone uh, to help you out with it right so this is one of the ways to submit a coupon so all you need to do is just fill up your coupon link all right so this is a link to your uh, discount all right what you want to do is that to your product sorry link to your product and then offer type coupon code right and then title just put in the coupon code you can actually call it like christmas sale uh 15 off 20 off promo code whatever it is and the promo code right here so you need to actually create a discount code uh, before you do this how you actually create a discount code very simple all you need to do is just go to your shopify page all right all you need to do is just go to your shopify page all right go to discounts right here okay and what you do is that you just need to click on uh, create a discount and then you can just start creating a discount right here okay and if you want to actually identify that this comes from your coupon code uh, sorry your coupon store um, what you can actually do is uh, and if you have many coupon stores what you actually do is that you can actually create a coupon code based on the store name right so for example if it's coupon bird so you can call it coupon bird christmas 10 okay as an example so that you know that people who actually use this comes from this coupon bird store link okay so this is what you do okay and then just put in your details right here and then just submit okay you can actually do that for as many coupon sites as you can so another one here that i have is retail me not again the same thing submit a coupon just put in your details and all those kind of things and yeah that's about it right store website all very simple stuff okay now if you find this very time consuming right i have another suggestion that you can do that will really you know save you a lot of time save you a lot of uh, effort for doing this yourself right very simple you actually can do it on fiverr basically just hop into fiverr just click on coupon submissions you can see that so many people who are willing to do that at you know uh, very cheap prices like ten dollars five dollars even right so just have a look at them and see which one actually is the best uh, i will not recommend any of them to you just find it yourself um and then just do that right for example this one here i will coupon code submission and deal up to 100 usa uk canada stores right so you can just pay them 10 bucks they will actually do it for you right so this is one of the ways that you can actually uh, you know save out a lot of your time as well if you want a coupon um, a discount uh, i actually have uh, an affiliate link right obviously i will actually be getting i I'm, i think like five bucks or like 10 bucks uh whenever you use my link uh but you get to save 20 percent off your first order right so the link is right here rebrand.ly slash fiverr dash save 20 i actually just going to be putting it in the description as well so you can actually uh, use this code to get 20 percent off your first order on fiverr right so this is what you can do now the other tip would be on email marketing. How do you actually prepare your emails and send out Christmas promotional uh, emails to your followers? And the benefits of actually sending out Christmas emails, especially this works great if you have a huge email list, is that you can actually use this time to build 
um, email list, right? Because if you think about it, you've actually spent on your ads, you know, spent to get leads. Now is the time you actually reap those rewards. Every time when you send out an email and let's just say, you know, if, for example, if you have a list of 1,000 people and let's just say, you know, uh, con uh, conservative 5% uh, actually buy from you, right? That's like, what, 50 and you did free money basically, right? So uh, highly recommended that you actually send out Christmas emails. So uh, I actually have some uh, details right here as well that you can actually uh, you know use and uh, this is the promotional calendar link uh, the calendar sequence that I would want to actually recommend you to follow as well so this is a seven day promotional calendar and the idea is for you to give them a new offer every day right think about it like the christmas even calendar right Some, something like this one if you've seen this before right christmas countdown whereby every day you know it's a new offer that happens right so this makes people excited because people actually don't know what to expect the next day the next day and so on and so forth and this just get, creates a kind of christmas buzz right so one of the things that you can do is very simple right i just want to quickly go back here right now um, if you have never sent out emails before, you actually want to warm up your email list. And one of the quickest ways to do that would be to send them a survey email, right? Very simple how you do is that it's just that you actually, uh, you know, introduce yourself saying that, you know, you're the founder of uh, so-and-so page, all right? And you ask them to do something, right? For example, to follow your page and then ask them, right, some, some questions, for example, like what are the products that you want us to add into your store? This one actually just give them a chance to interact with you right even if you have a small list i would still highly recommend that you do this and when you actually ask them questions like this right what kind of products you want us to add to the store it also gives you ideas right what to actually put into your store next time right another thing you can ask is that anything we can improve right so they actually give you feedback for example they say that you know i think that your shipping is uh you know, very bad and then you know so once they actually respond to you okay you can actually give them a coupon code right, as, a, as a discount right so uh, I would just give like a 5% discount code, you know, if you actually respond to this email, right, for us to help you serve you better, right? So this is just a survey email, just to warm up that email list, right? Now, before Christmas, okay, uh, and, and this is a sequence that I actually put in from, let's just say 19th of December onwards, all the way to December 26th. So uh, on the 19th of December, what I would do is that uh, I will actually send out a VIP list, right? And send, sorry, sorry, I will actually send out emails to my VIP list and telling them about the Christmas countdown, right? So what is a, uh, a VIP list? A VIP list basically is a list of people who actually buy from you. So you actually put them in the VIP list as compared to people who don't buy from you, who have never bought from you, right? So the people who buy from you basically have priority. So you want to actually give them early access if possible right so you can actually inform them uh before the 20th about this uh, you know christmas countdown offer that you're going to be doing maybe you ask them to stand by uh, and to get excited for the christmas countdown right and on day one right what you want to be doing is that you know so again this is a sequence of uh, seven days right you can actually play around with the promotions that you want to give but this is just something that i can recommend you for day one right december 20th you can give a gift card right you can offer a gift card and how gift cards work is very simple you can actually create a gift card on your shopify store as well and you can do this for free right if you actually look at um, this right here uh, shopify actually has enabled um, gift cards for all shopify plans and yeah so this is going to be help, uh, helpful for you before this shopify used to charge uh, only allow those with uh, 79 dollars plan to actually uh, be given be able to create gift cards but now they're actually you know, helping you out with this right so you can be able to create yourself so how do you actually do it you can actually just follow the instructions right here this is on shopify's help page activate the gift card feature so on and so forth i'm just going to quickly show you so that you know yourself uh, very simple you just go to you know your shopify account right uh, it's under products right so you want to go to products click on gift cards and what you want to do is just click on sell gift cards okay and then all right you just need to fill up the details as here right so you can just give them uh an option to buy you know different amounts of gift cards maybe twenty dollars maybe another one is fifty dollars and even hundred dollars right so give them an option but here's the kicker right? how do you actually uh, market is this is that you actually need to give them a discount to your gift card so you know for example you're going to be selling this fifty dollar gift card and you're going to tell your customers saying that hey you know 
uh, this is a gift card that you can actually give other people or you can use it yourself uh, and, and you will be able to get it now at a 20% off right so they would actually be spending uh, only 30 bucks to get no sorry only 40 bucks to get a 10 um, so to get a $50 voucher right spending $40 to get a $50 voucher at 20% off right that's literally like it's a steal all right so you can actually get your customers to do that so this is one quick way to you know to get some you know to, to make some quick money from um, email marketing as well using gift cards next all right so maybe on day two you can actually give them a, an amount of discount right maybe a certain amount so let's say, just say that uh, give amount discount of five dollars to ten dollars and how you actually do that is that you can just go to your discount code um, discount codes again and then actually create one for example right here you know this is a 10% off right but you can actually click on fixed amount and you can actually just give a discount value of five dollars so all items in the store will be five dollars off right or ten dollars off whatever it is that you're comfortable with so this is uh what you can do for day two okay on day three you can actually give a percentage of discount so instead of um you know a fixed amount give like 10% off all products, right? Or certain collections as well. You can actually do that, right? And, uh, but one tip for you is that you actually want to make sure that the discount that you offer is equivalent to your Black Friday discount or even lesser than that, right? Because usually what happens is that on Black Friday, people are, you know, Black Friday is considered like the e-commerce um, day of the year, right? Black Friday and something on the e-commerce weekend of the year, which means that people would usually expect the discounts on Black Friday to, to be the best. And if you send them an even better discount during Christmas, they will actually cry. Right? So make sure that uh, you don't do that. Uh, just respect your customers in the sense by making sure that Black Friday has the best discount and Christmas is you know, either equivalent. So if you give 25%, on Black Friday, give 25% again on Christmas or you know, slightly less than that, 20% whatsoever, right? So this is what you want to do. Next, right, day four, you can come up with a, a second offer, which is buy X, get X free, right? So you can actually give a free product. Say that you can buy any product right here in our store and you actually get maybe like a, a, a ring, right? free right or you can get something right it can be a free product or you can also give a free digital product An example if you're selling fitness equipment you can actually just give like a free a workout guide or like free i don't know, like a free diet workbook or something like that right so uh, you can just easily get all those uh they call it a plr um books from fiverr or you know just find it off the internet you can just give it to them as uh, free product right and this doesn't add anything to you especially if it's a free uh, digital product so it's a very good way to actually you know uh, add additional value to your customers okay and if you actually give them a physical product okay just make sure that the product um, the cost isn't as expensive uh, isn't very high of a cost so that it makes sense for you to actually just want to give them so make sure that it doesn't eat into your profits as well uh, a, a lot right so this is uh, one tip that you can use on December 24th, you can also add in a uh, collection base uh, and then you can actually uh, give them, for example, all the items right here is $10 off, all the items in this collection is $20 off, all the items in this is $30 off, or you can also just fix the price, right? All the items in this collection of, you know, uh, fitness, fitness equipment, right, are only $10, right? All the items in jewelry, right, are only $20 for uh, that day, right? All the items in something else is $30. So this is just some promotional ideas for you, right? And you can actually just use this. So on Christmas day, right, you can actually give a discount based on specific collection. Okay, this is only for this certain collection, right? You can actually do that, right? On 26th of December, you can actually also give a discount based on a specific product. And usually that product should be your winning product, right? So give that give it to people as a you know a huge discount uh, for that specific product right so you can actually do that 
So these are uh, you know some promotional ideas again for you. You can also mix and match uh, however you like it. If instead of you know uh, doing the gift cards on, I, I like to give gift cards on the first day itself because it gives people a reason to actually use those gift cards. Because if not, then what's the point, right? So gift cards should always be the first, but the rest you can actually just play around with. Okay. So I hope that this uh, Christmas promotional calendar is actually helpful for you. Uh, just do implement it into your store as well. So I'm just going to show you an example of. Um, an email that you can actually write. So for example, right here, uh, hi, right, are you looking for last minute gifts? Okay, spoil your people without breaking your head or making a piggy bank, right? Phone loops, sorry, obviously this is the company, our obvious solution to the social world of social distance. We offer you gift cards that allow people you to choose, uh, you know, store that suit their taste. Happy holidays from our team. So as simple as that, and you know, just giving them an option to buy a gift card, right? Obviously this one has not, uh, you, in, in this email, there's actually no, a discount for the gift card but you can actually just throw in uh, some discounts for people and you know watch people actually go and grab your gift cards right very simple uh, thing that you can do okay so the next hack that I will be sharing with you is Christmas ad copies right how do you actually write your ad copies for Christmas and how to actually inform your customers that you won't be actually getting this by Christmas but people will still buy from you and this is a one ad copy that I've used before and you know has been working absolutely brilliantly so I'm going to share with you what this is right so uh, if you actually just wait for a second okay so you can see here I'll actually write this won't arrive by Christmas but will give you 50% off when you purchase today, right? When purchased today. So you are immediately telling people up front that you won't actually get this order by Christmas, all right? But this is the reason why we are going to give you a 50% off, right? Or whatever, however much you want to give off. And, um, you know, 50% off is just basically putting your compare at price and your price just the difference by 50%, right? So uh, it doesn't really affect your margins anyway, okay? So I'm just gonna show you an example right here. This is a product that I used to sell, right? And I can show you how this product actually, when I sold it, you know, it made, uh, it made me a substantial amount of money. Uh, and this is just an example of it, right? So for, for example, right here, this one, I published it, you know, December 12th last year. And this won't arrive by Christmas, but we'll give you a 50% off when purchased today. And then this one is the gesture control race car, right? I just you know, talk a little bit about this and then buy yours now and uh, the link to your store, right? So this is uh, what you what you can do. You can also notice that I actually wrote uh, one of the you know, features is that uh, the perfect gift, right? Spoil any RC car lover. So this is an example that you can put in uh, telling people that this is actually one of the perfect gifts. So people actually know that, hey, you know, I actually can buy this as a gift, right? So these are some of the things that you can do in order to you know, really boost up your uh, Christmas sales. And that comes to the end of the video. I hope that you've gained massive value. And if you have, please give me a like and also subscribe to my channel so that I can actually, you know, pour out more videos like this often, right? And if you have gained massive value as well, do comment in the comment section below, Ecom Champions, because I will actually be giving away a free Shopify store, right? If you want to do that, and if also you want me to, you know, upload the template, Make sure that you like and when we reach 500 likes, I will actually be doing it. With that said guys, hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Go. Hey guys, Julian here and recently I went to Korea and guess what? I bought a pair of Fila Barricade shoes completely free. Hang on, I'll tell you how I got it.